I want to tell you about this new book called simply Baby. It's a book that gives you all the facts about what it is like to be a human infant. Now there are lots of baby care books, books that tell you what you should and shouldn't do, but this is different. This book gives you the information about what it's like to be a baby and then you can decide the best way to care for it. I prefer this method because otherwise uh, you tend to be told to do this or that in a very rigid way when maybe it doesn't quite fit with your own personal feelings. So it's a book of a new kind about the most extraordinary life form ever to draw breath on this planet, the human infant. It may look a little helpless lump of flesh, but in fact it's a life form that is power packed with the most amazing potential. Every baby has inside it a system of developmental stages which bring it through those first two years and prepare it for the later stages of life. Even at birth, when the baby looks absolutely so almost lifeless after the exhaustion of being born and just lies there, even then, inside its body, its circulation system, its blood system, is going through the most amazing changes. Some vessels are closing down, others are opening up, because, of course, it has to switch to lung breathing, to air breathing, and that needs a different kind of blood system. So that's all going on inside the body. And even before the baby has grown very old, when it's just in its first few months, it will already have sensitive nervous system and a very sensitive set of sense organs. Its eyes, people say baby can't see very well. That's not true. Baby's vision is very carefully designed so that what it sees best is something at this distance. Of course, that's its mother's face. Its mother's face is the most important thing for it to see. So it may not be able to see things in the distance very well, but that doesn't matter because it's the mother's face that means everything to it, to see the expressions on her face. And its sense of smell is extraordinary. Um, if you take bits of cloth and, in an experiment, uh, put them on the breasts of lactating mothers, and then you take those bits of cloth and you put them next to a baby's face, if it's a bit of cloth that's been on some other woman, baby's not interested. When the bit of cloth that was actually on its mother's breast is put next to its face, it turns its head immediately like that, ready to feed. In other words, even a tiny baby can identify the individual fragrance of its own mother and distinguish it from that of other mothers. And it's the same the other way around. Mothers can identify the fragrance of their own babies. We blindfolded some young mothers and lined them up and then passed their babies one by one in front of them so they could just smell them as they went past. And then we said to a mother, now, baby's gone past, who's the mother? And the mother would put her hand up, take her blindfold off, be absolutely astonished to see that she got it right. Every single mother could identify her own baby just by its fragrance and could distinguish it from all other babies. So the bond between the mother and the, and the baby is developing and growing in this extraordinarily intimate way. And it's not just smell, it's also sound, because a mother, even when she's asleep, can distinguish the crying of her baby from that of other babies. That's something that was important in, in tribal days, in small settlements. But of course, in a house today, we don't realise that, that mothers have that ability, because there's just one baby in the house. These are just a few of the uh, facts. Uh, there are hundreds of, of bits of information like this in this new book. Uh, telling you what it is like to be a human baby. And I must say, during the research I was doing for it and the writing of it, I became so full of awe at the, this amazing object that is the human infant uh, that I now have even more respect. I had a lot of respect before, but now I am completely knocked out by the astonishing qualities and properties of the human infant. And I think you will be too when you read this book, which I hope you enjoy as much as I enjoyed writing it.